make the t the subject of the formula p is equal to square root of t minus 3 over t. Okay, here we've got a square root sign, so that's what makes it difficult. So to remove that, what you need to do is square both sides. So if you square this side, you're going to get p squared. And squaring a square root sign just gives you what's inside the square root, which is t minus 3 over t. And then what we do is we multiply both sides by t. So it's going to give me t p squared is equal to t minus 3. Right, then I'm going to add 3 to both sides. Adding 3 will give me 3 plus t p squared is equal to t. And then I'm going to subtract t p squared for both sides. And doing it that way around will avoid any nasty lot of minus signs. So I'm going to have that 3 is equal to t minus t p squared. Uh, as I want t as a subject, I need to factorise out the t. So we're going to get 3 is equal to t 1 minus p squared. Just check t times 1 gives me t. t times minus p squared gives me minus t squared t p squared. And then t is now multiplied by 1 minus p squared, so we're going to divide both sides by 1 minus p squared. We're going to have 3 over 1 minus p squared is equal to t, so I've made t the subject. Maybe you might write it that way around, t is equal to 3 over 1 minus p squared. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to make uh, t the subject when it's inside a square root sign. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.